Nestled in the northwest of Cameroon lies the serene and beautiful crater lake, Lake Nyos. Though it appears peaceful, a deadly trap lurks beneath its surface. Thirty-nine years ago, in just a matter of minutes, this lake claimed the lives of 1,746 people, over 3,500 livestock, countless wild animals, and even insects. Today, we delve into the details of that horrifying day. It was August 21st, 1986. In this agriculture and livestock-dependent Cameroonian village, residents were resting after a long day's work. Some had already fallen asleep. Those who were awake heard a terrifying roar around 9 p.m. However, they could not figure out where the sound had come from. The next morning, those who were fortunate enough to wake up discovered an eerie silence all around them. No birds chirping, no animals stirring. Everything felt hauntingly calm. As they ventured further, they found that the mountain waterfall, which had been flowing the previous day, had dried up overnight, and the area around it was littered with the bodies of various animals and birds. A sense of unknown terror gripped them. They moved toward the settlements near the lake, but by then, those had turned into a land of death. There was no sign of life anywhere. Just a rotten egg-like odor hanging in the air. Death had spread across a 25-kilometer area of the lake that day. Even the few who had miraculously survived bore severe burns and wounds that appeared decayed. No one could comprehend what had happened overnight. The survivors tried to flee the area. It didn't take long for news of the incident to spread. There was no war, no bombs or gunfire, not even any chemical factories. Yet so much death. Military and medical teams rushed to investigate, and their findings uncovered the true mystery. Lake Nyos was formed in a volcanic crater, and carbon dioxide was being produced from the crater. If the lake's water had been flowing, the gas would have been released. However, since the lake water was stagnant, carbon dioxide had been accumulating there for a long time. Suddenly, that accumulated carbon dioxide exploded and spread all around. What caused this sudden explosion? It was actually a landslide that disturbed the lake's water layer, leading to the explosion. As a result of the explosion, the toxic gas spread within a 25-kilometer radius in just 20 seconds, leaving no chance for anyone to escape. Since carbon dioxide is heavier than oxygen, it quickly displaced oxygen and settled in low-lying areas and silently suffocating countless lives. Those who were in relatively higher areas were the ones who survived. Later, degassing pipes were installed in the lake to remove the remaining carbon dioxide from beneath. Such gas accumulation incidents are not limited to Lake Nyos. Similar occurrences have been found in several other lakes in Africa. In 2005, Evidence of gas accumulation was discovered in Lake Kivu in the Democratic Republic of Congo. This could also cause a disaster in the future. However, studies have shown that such events occur approximately once every thousand years. Scientists are still conducting research to ensure that no lake becomes a silent weapon of death in the future. The Lake Nyos disaster serves as a reminder of how uncertain nature can be and how it can suddenly become perilous. Do these astonishing natural events make you ponder? Share your thoughts in the comments.